851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation and another episode in my unreleased aircraft series. To give you a brief rundown, in this series I explore aircraft that were either proposed, studied, or just generally talked about. The catch is that they never actually flew in our skies. McDonnell Douglas in previous decades had their fair share of concept aircraft, and today I'll be taking a look at the MDXX. In this video I'll discuss what the aircraft was, where the idea came from, and why finally it was cancelled. We'll begin the video though with a look at the aircraft itself. The MDXX came after the MD-12, an aircraft which is featured on the channel quite frequently of late, and one of great interest to me. McDonnell Douglas wanted this MDXX to seat 300 to 400 passengers and to essentially be a stretch of their renowned MD-11, which is a trijet. Seating potentially 300 to 400 passengers in a trijet seems quite odd, but nevertheless, on some artists' impressions and renderings, it did highlight that this would be a stretched version. McDonnell Douglas outlined that the MDXX would have a 25% increase in the total capacity over the MD-11. Interestingly enough though, if an airline did believe an all-economy layout was beneficial to them, they could fit well over 500. This should give you an absolutely perfect idea of just how big the stretch would be. The MDXX was first spoken of at the 1996 Farnborough Air Show. This was just years after they cancelled their MD-11. On top of this, during the year of 1996 as well, McDonnell Douglas revealed their first technical details of the new MDXX trijet at a conference. This conference had a number of airlines turn up. That number is at around 11. And this was despite the fact that the manufacturer sent out a further 49 invites to various other airlines. The brief wasn't necessarily a huge success, but it certainly informed customers on the aircraft and what it could potentially offer airlines in the future. The MDXX was derived from the MD-11 stretch and finally the MD-11LR, two further proposals that were not successful. Despite the stretch and added capacity, the MDXX, according to McDonnell Douglas, would hold the exact same range as the MD-11. In addition, the three engines featured on the aircraft would be of higher thrust. The MDXX had two variants planned, with eventually the manufacturer eyeing just the MDXX. McDonnell Douglas focused heavily on the aircraft becoming the perfect long-range point-to-point model. It would allow airlines to remove stopovers on long journeys, in turn reducing flight time for travellers. It would be the perfect solution, and is actually something we are seeing in today's market with the 7778 and A350-900 ULR. In regards to the aircraft itself and the wings, it was more specifically outlined on global security. A key feature of the MDXX aircraft was the high aspect ratio composite wing, which was aerodynamically more efficient than the comparable metal wing. The more efficient and lighter wing would require smaller control surfaces, smaller engines, and lighter support structure. The entire aircraft resize would weigh 7,300 pound less than its metal wing counterpart. The combined effort of a lighter and more efficient aircraft was to reduce the operating cost by 2.1% translating into more than 100% profit increased for airlines. Ultimately, plans for the MDXX came to a rapid close in 1996 as well, as the aircraft manufacturer made the announcement that the MDXX was not to be developed. This is after the McDonnell Douglas board told airlines that if they placed an order for it, it would be a 44-month development schedule. First deliveries were set to occur before the turn of the century. What are your thoughts on the MDXX? As always, let me know if you would have liked to have seen it play a part in the aviation industry in the comment section below. In my opinion, I think it's very similar to what we're seeing today in regards to long-range aircraft. However, the MDXX of course would have had three engines, therefore not making it as efficient as what we're seeing today. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly